Have you ever wondered how rain is formed? Or why on some days you look up to see a clear blue sky and on others you're reaching for your umbrella? Well, the secret lies in a fascinating natural process called the water cycle. Imagine a world of tiny water droplets, invisible to the naked eye, floating around in the air. These droplets, a result of evaporation, come from various sources, oceans, rivers, lakes, even the plants around you, as they release water vapor in a process called transpiration. As these water droplets rise into the sky, they meet cooler air. This causes them to condense, forming tiny water droplets in the sky. Picture a crowd of these droplets coming together. These gatherings of droplets are what we see as clouds. Now clouds don't just carry water, they are also a place of transformation. As the water droplets in the clouds collide and combine, they grow bigger. When they become too heavy to float in the air, they fall back to the earth as precipitation, which could be rain, snow, sleet or hail, depending on the temperature. But what happens when this precipitation reaches the ground? Some of it flows into rivers and lakes, some seeps into the ground, and some is taken up by plants. Eventually, this water makes its way back to the surface of the earth, where it evaporates again, completing the water cycle. So, to sum it all up, the journey of a single droplet of water might look something like this. It starts off in a body of water, like a river or ocean. The sun's heat causes it to evaporate and rise into the sky, where it joins others to form a cloud. As the cloud cools, the water droplets combine and grow heavy, falling back to the earth as precipitation. Once on the ground, the droplet might flow into a river, be absorbed by a plant, or seep into the ground, before eventually returning to the atmosphere through evaporation. And so the cycle continues. So, the next time you find yourself caught in a rain shower, remember that each droplet has been on a remarkable journey, traveling through the water cycle, from evaporation to precipitation and back again. And who knows, maybe that same droplet will be part of the next rain shower you encounter, continuing its cycle in this incredible natural process that brings life to our planet.